<laughs> What's going on guys? I'm, listen, when we were watching the United game, I was in between recording videos for later today. We were about to take a look at Fabio Cannavaro. We just took a look at Wayne Rooney. Definitely go check it out. Should be up. Might not be up before this. West Ham with Mark Noble are trying to go for a draw. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I can't show them. I want to show the footage so bad. This game has been unbelievable. It's been unbelievable back and forth. West Ham with that control. United with Lingard, who played for West Ham last year, come back and score. Ronaldo got a goal. West Ham United bring on Mark Noble in the 94th minute, who could give them a penalty to get a draw against Manchester United. Bro, my hand is shaking. I'm not even a West Ham fan. I just want them to score this. It's his first kick. They brought him on for this against De Gea. Oh, he's a <laughs> no! Oh, De Gea saves. De Gea saves. No way. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Not Mark Noble. Why? Oh my god, if the Euros weren't any indication that you don't choose a penalty taker who hasn't been playing. He's not, yeah, he's not had a kick of the ball all game. Let Benzini, let Ben Rama. I know Mikel Antonio is not there, but oh my Jesus. You Manchester United survive like that. Wow. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. I can't. I'm so baffled by that. I can't believe West Ham did that. That's the dumbest decision I've ever seen by David Moyes in my entire life. And it's another England manager who has done it. It is another one who has absolutely cocked up that choice. I cannot, like you sub on Mark Noble, they were bringing on Mark Noble, I don't know why they brought on Mark Noble in the first place, you were down 2-1, they get a penalty off of a Luke Shaw handball when they should have had a penalty on the other hand with, God bless I love him, but Kurt Zuma, a tackle on Ronaldo, which was so bad, so god awfully bad, and West Ham somehow get a penalty off of a bad Luke Shaw handball, which also, I don't know why your hands are out like this. Like that, trying to trying to stop them from from sending in a, a cross, Luke Shaw. That was horrendous. VAR actually, I feel like, as much as I hate it, they actually get that one right. Which I thought this was a poorly officiated game as well. By the way, may I add? I think United. He let them play, but he let them play a bit too much. Uh, we're, we're to the point where both West Ham and United were getting away with some very bad fouls. Uh, it was all over the place. But anyway, back to the point. David De Gea, he's looked really good this season. I will, I will be completely honest with you. I, as a Chelsea fan, I'm terrified. I'm terrified of what David De Gea has done because with Varane, actually Maguire looked garbage in this game, but with Varane and whoever else they put in the defense in front of him, with Juan Bissaka on that right, Shaw still on the left, the United defense is looking pretty solid, you know? West Ham were carving them open a bit in this game, but they weren't able to... To finish it, I cannot believe they let Mark Noble take that penalty. David De Gea with an easy save. It wasn't. It wasn't a bad penalty. It was going. It was going top right or middle right. Yeah, it's middle right. Oh my Jesus! I don't. Tim Howard is actually on this NBC call. I'm, I'm excited to hear what he wants to say. Hey, listen. Ole played it right. He got it right. First off, it should have been a penalty, Ronaldo. Zuma, I love you, but it was terrible. It's a terrible challenge. They didn't even look at it. They didn't even stop play. They continued on. 
Then you, then West Ham with a penalty, and then Mark Noble with no. Oh my God! I don't, I don't get England managers. David Moyes really cocked it up. I'm trying to support West Ham here. I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to, trying to support from afar. It is just a terrible decision. I, I, I'm so happy I got to see that live. I'm so happy I got to watch that. Jesus Christ. Thank you guys so much for watching. Jesus, I cannot believe that they really let that happen. Amazing. I absolutely love that. United. United fans, let me know your thoughts on the game down in the comments below. West Ham, unlucky to not get a point. Probably could have there, uh, although I think United were the better team in this game. Not by much. Without Mikel Antonio, West Ham played stellar. Jared Bowen, phenomenal. Ben Rama might be too good for West Ham. I, I will... I'll sneak that in there. He might be too good for West Ham. Fornals looked like he's put in a shift. Declan Rice as well looked amazing. Zuma in the back looked solid. United as well. McTominay was, is a much needed addition. Pogba looked phenomenal again. Guys, it's a great day for football. It is a great day for football. And we got, we got Chelsea and Tottenham after this. Let's get it. Let's get it. Thank you guys so much for watching though. Peace.